Hi guys, in this video I will show you how you can upload images, PDFs, documents and basically all types of media to your server using Flask REST API. So let's get started. So first of all I will create a virtual environment and install the dependencies. The command for that is python3-mvenv and then I will name my virtual environment. I will keep it as .venv. The virtual environment has been created. Now I will activate it using source .vnv bin and then activate. As the virtual environment has been activated, now I will install the dependencies which are in this file requirements.txt. I will do pip install dash r requirements.txt. The requirements are now installed. Now I will create a file app.py that will contain the whole project. Now I will do a few imports. I will first import OS. Then from Flask, I will import the Flask class. Then I will import request. Then JSONify. And then from Bugswick, dot utils, I will import secure file name. Now I will create a variable that will store the part to the upload folder. I will get the current path using PWD. So this is the path. I will copy that paste it here and then append static here so this will be the part to the upload folder I will create that folder here the name will be static now I will mention the type of media that is allowed to be uploaded that is the allowed extension it is of type set and the allowed files are of type text PDF PNG JPEG and GIF now I will create a function allowed file here the parameter will be file name it will be of type string so basically this function will test that the file name contains a dot and after that dot the extensions belong to one of these So here I'm doing a write split on the dot operator and the maximum split is one and I'm getting the second element from the list. After applying dot lower function, I will check that this part of string belongs to the allowed extensions. So I will test this function. I will type Python from app import allowed file. So this function has been imported. So in this I will test a media name for example cat.png So it returned true. So this is a valid file name. I will change this to srt which is not allowed uh, which is not present in the allowed extensions so here I'm getting false so this function is used to test whether the file uploaded by the user belongs to one of these allowed extensions I will close the terminal now I will create the app object After that in the app config, I will set the upload folder to the upload folder variable. Now I will create the API for media upload. 
first I will set the route it will be slash media slash upload and the allowed method will be post the function name will be upload media first of all I will check whether the key name file is present in request.files or not I will return an error message media not provided and the status code will be 400 if that is not the case that means file is present in the files I will add another check if file dot file name is an empty string I will return an error message no file selected with status code of 400 and then after that I will add another check if file and allowed file in this I will give the file name using file dot file name then I will create a variable file name which will be equal to secure file name and in this I will pass the file name file dot file name so this will return a secured version of the name of file name so it will return secure file name by removing any special characters that can cause any issues while saving the file on the server and after that I will do file dot save in this I will give the final path using os dot path dot join in this I will use app dot config and use the key upload folder and then join it with the secure file name so now at this point the file is successfully stored on the server so finally I will return a message and the message would be media uploaded successfully after that I will type the command to run the development server debug equal to true and the port will be 5000 so now I will run the development server using python app.py the server started so the request type is post here I will enter the endpoint and in the body I will select form data and the key here will be file and the type will be file I will select the file so this is a random screenshot I will select that and now I will click on send and the message is media uploaded successfully I will check the static folder so now this image is present in the static folder now I will try to upload a PDF I will upload this report.pdf I will click on send 
the message is media uploaded successfully and this is present in the static folder so this is it guys i hope you liked the tutorial please like share and subscribe and i will meet you in the next one